Russian Defense Minister Andrei Belusov arrived in Beijing for an official visit on Monday. Belusov attended a welcoming ceremony, laid a wreath at the Monument to the People's Heroes at Tiananmen Square and held talks with his Chinese counterpart Dong Jun. He praised Russian-Chinese relations and stressed that Moscow is determined to implement all agreements. Russian-Chinese military cooperation is an important element of increasing defense capability, maintaining global and regional stability, Belusov added. The Chinese defense minister said that both countries have a common desire to promote military cooperation. Дружественные отношения России и Китая сохраняют высокую динамику развития, расширяются по всем направлениям и находятся на беспрецедентном уровне. Ключевую роль в укреплении стратегических связей играют доверительные контакты лидеров двух стран настроенные на реализацию всех достигнутых на высшем уровне договоренностей. Российско-китайское военное сотрудничество – важный элемент повышения обороноспособности, поддержания глобальной и региональной стабильности. Мы регулярно проводим совместную оперативную боевую подготовку на суше, море и воздухе. Успешно отрабатываем учебно-боевые задачи, в том числе самой высокой сложности. Рассчитывая на тесное плодотворное сотрудничество с китайскими товарищами. Уверен, что сегодняшний переговор... The European Union on Monday imposed sanctions on Iran's deputy defense minister, senior members of its paramilitary revolutionary guard and three airlines over allegations that they supplied drones, missiles and other equipment to Russia for use in its war against Ukraine. Commission President Ursula von der Leyen confirmed the new measures during an appearance in Berlin, alongside German Chancellor Olaf Scholz. The daily killing and the death of innocent people that we see would not be possible without the supplies and the supply lines by Iran. And therefore, these sanctions against Iran are sending a very clear message. Contributions to terror and Russia's illegal war of aggression have serious consequences, von der Leyen said. Iranian Deputy Defense Minister Syed Hamza Galandari is one of seven senior officials now banned from traveling in Europe and whose assets in the bloc were frozen. The EU said he is involved in the development of Iran's and missile program, given his high-level defense role. Iran Air, Mahan Air and Saha Airlines had their assets frozen. The EU said their planes were used repeatedly to transfer Iranian-made unmanned aerial vehicles and related technologies to Russia, which have been used in Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine. EU foreign ministers endorsed the sanctions at a meeting in Luxembourg. In March, the bloc had warned that, were Iran to transfer ballistic missiles and related technology to Russia for use against Ukraine, the EU would be prepared to respond swiftly including with new and significant restrictive measures. EU member countries, with the exception of Hungary, have been supplying weapons and ammunition as well as economic and other support to Ukraine worth some 118 billion euros since Russia launched its full-scale invasion in February 2022.
Yes, uh, actually, um, I can inform you that today the Council took a decision on sanctions on Iran. Um, the reason is uh, that Iran is supporting Russia's drone and missile terror against innocent civilians in Ukraine. The daily killing and the death of innocent people that we see would not be possible without the supplies and the supply lines by Iran. And therefore, these sen sanctions uh, against Iran are sending a very clear message. Contributions to terror and Russia's illegal war of aggression have serious consequences.